Hello, my name is James Muldowney. And I'm John English. And we're the leaders of pedagogy here at Holy Spirit Catholic College, Lakemba. Since the advent of the Australian curriculum, we've been working very closely with our key learning area coordinators and teachers to incorporate some of the key aspects and principles of understanding by design, project-based learning and authentic pedagogy into our teaching and learning programs. We've done that across all phase one subjects, but the one we'd like to talk about today is a mathematics unit that looks at the popular TV program, The Amazing Race. The Amazing Race. This show has taken you all over the world. Now, it's going where it's never been. CBS Sunday Night. The whole unit focused on teaching the concept of time through the Amazing Race. And to do this, we developed an interactive website that students worked through collaboratively in groups. The teacher acted very much as a facilitator throughout the whole process and intervened and guided only as and when necessary, but only after the students had accessed the learning resources themselves first. Groups were of mixed ability which were chosen beforehand to make it fairer and each group were also given a roadblock that could be played on a group that got too far ahead to slow them down. To progress through the unit, students need to click on each city on the interactive site. And in that city, they're given information and resources that can help them to complete the challenge. For example, in Cairo, we can see a variety of resources such as Scootl, some text, some images, and an interactive website that can help them to complete the challenge. In Los Angeles, we can see that there are video resources to help them complete the challenge. Once the students are confident they know the material, they complete the challenge. Or if they already know the material or feel they know it, they can just jump straight to the challenge. The challenges are all self-correcting. Students will get a variety of questions that they can flick through and put in some information on. Once they get to the end, they click Submit All and are then given a result. In this case, I haven't really tried it, so I've got 0%, which means I'll have to repeat the challenge. If, however, they are successful in the challenge, then they can move on to the next city. To make it even more enjoyable and interesting for the students, a number of secret roadblocks and merits are hidden on the site. Secret roadblocks gave them an extra roadblock that they could use throughout the challenge. However, it wasn't always available to every group. Often the top groups were limited because this allowed everybody else to catch up. Merits were also hidden on the site. Merits are part of a reward system and they were often hidden in text. For example, this forced students to read the text on the site, learn a little bit more about the country, and then go back to the teacher to claim their merit. Initially, the teachers found this concept quite different, but with peer encouragement and clear indicators of student engagement, they were motivated to incorporate the principles of authentic learning into other maths teaching and learning programs. Now we're guessing now. We can't guess. Go to the right. You want the next one? Go to the square. Get to the center. AM? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, hold on. Here's one in Peru. One in Peru. Oh, yes! Can we get it? Okay. Hey, yeah. Uh, hey, yeah. Uh, Where's the roadblock somewhere? Are we even just 
Hey, Ro, hey, what's your group called? Triple J. Triple J. On, on Habib, sir. Yeah. On Habib. Yeah. Where's Habib? Yeah, go give it to him, man. Yes, right. yeah. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Habib, your roadblock finishes. Uh, yeah. I really liked it because we got to we got to do like we were actually traveling like with the travel schedule and we got to do it was it wasn't really like work it was like a game it felt real so life. it felt yeah like and you learn stuff about different countries like how much what's the average wage of a country the population whereas like in textbooks you yeah. just like trapped in one zone yeah and um, exactly what he said and also because. When when we when we're like going on different countries, it gives us like little fun facts that we can take on, not just for maths for, but for other lessons. Whereas when you're in your textbook, you're just learning about time, but in like a very like plain way. Yeah, you're not really learning much in the textbooks because all you have to do is just write. When we write, we're not really looking. We're yeah. just writing. We're not really focusing. Yeah. But if you have something like this, yeah, then we're actually looking because if if we're not learning, then we can't pass. Yeah, the exactly. Yeah. exactly.